Hello, welcome to the video on solving one-step equations. This is our first example set, example set A. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch the lesson video. It's important that you understand the concepts uh, we discussed there, uh, namely inverse operations and how to use them. So let's go ahead and solve these one-step equations. And in algebra or anything you do in math, you always want to show all your work. So let's start with our first problem here, x plus 1 equals 7. So remember, the uh, kind of the objective of solving an equation is to get the variable by itself, okay, or isolate the variable. So we want to get x equals, and then, of course, whatever numbers on the right-hand side of the equation uh, will reveal the solution to the equation. So we're going to use those inverse operations we talked about. And to know what inverse operation that we're going to use, we have to look at what's next to the variable. So here I have x plus 1 equals 7. So plus 1 is next to that x. So I want to get rid of that 1. So I'm going to subtract 1. Okay, so remember the inverse operation for addition is subtraction. But if I subtract a 1 from the left-hand side of the equation, I also have to subtract a 1 from the right-hand side of the equation, and then I'm going to go ahead and add. Now notice how I'm writing my negative 1 here, okay? Right underneath this 1 and right underneath this 7, and then I draw a line. You should be doing the exact same thing, okay? So I really don't want you to deviate from a different process. You want to establish these good habits now, okay? So once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and add down in a column format, okay? So x plus nothing is x, okay? Plus 1 plus a negative 1, or 1 minus 1 is 0. Then I have 7 plus negative 1 or 7 minus 1 and that of course is 6. And that's it. Okay, so one step to get to our solution x equals 6 and we're done. Alright, let's take a look at our next uh, problem here. So I have y minus 12 equals 4. Okay, so what's next to that variable? I have a minus 12. So to get rid of that minus 12, I'm going to go ahead and use an inverse operation. I'm going to add 12 to both sides of the equation, okay? Because when I add 12 to that minus 12, the 12s go away and I'm left with y, and that's the whole objective of solving an equation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add down. All right, so I get y plus nothing is y, negative 12 plus 12 is zero, and then four plus 12 is 16. So y equals 16 is the solution to that equation, okay? So if you're understanding this, then Really, you've mastered um, at least the general concept of solving these one-step equations. Now, right now, we're using addition and subtraction as our inverse operations, and we'll do more examples. We're going to be talking about multiplication and division and division and multiplication, etc. But let's go ahead and just make sure you understand the core principles that we're uh, trying to get you to understand, and that's looking for what inverse operation to use okay, to solve these equations. So our next one here is z minus 1 half equals 3. Okay, so we have a fraction, but it's no big deal. It's the same principle. So to get rid of this negative 1 half next to the z, I'm going to go ahead and add 1 half to both sides of the equation. Okay. So adding down, okay, I'm just kind of drawing these little lines here to kind of illustrate what we're going to be doing. I'm going to get z plus nothing is z. Okay. Negative one half plus one half is zero, and then three plus one half is simply three and one half. Okay, so hopefully this is getting easier for you, or it's probably actually probably pretty easy for most of you out there. So that's good, but we still need to practice it. So we have t plus fifteen equals negative fifteen. So plus fifteen is what I gotta focus in on. So I'm gonna use an inverse operation, which is gonna be negative. 15. So if I subtract 15 from the left-hand side of the equation, I also have to do it on the right-hand side of the equation. Now I'm going to add down. I get t plus nothing is t. 15 plus a negative 15 is 0. And now here's where you have to be really careful. Okay, Here's where students kind of rush and make mistakes. Now when we're adding down, okay, we're going to be taking negative 15 plus negative 15. Okay, so you really have to know your integer rules here. So negative 15 plus a negative 15 is negative 30. All right, so remember, algebra builds upon itself. When we studied real numbers and how to add positive negative numbers, multiply positive negative numbers. If you, if you find yourself having difficulty with this, 
you should like stop the video, go back and review. Okay, because if you don't really know that, it's going to um, cause you problems. Same thing with fractions. Okay, if you don't really know your fractions that well, you want to go back and review some of these uh, fundamental concepts. All right, so let's move on to our next problems. So here I have nine plus n equals zero. Okay, so what is the inverse operation I want to use? Okay, so to get n by itself, I have nine. I'm adding nine to that n. Okay, now it might look easier for you if we did this n plus nine. Okay, so if I have n plus nine, is that the same thing as nine plus n? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so you, you can see that we're going to be subtracting nine. Okay, that's the inverse operation of a positive nine from both sides of the equation. All right, so now when I add down, the nines go away on the left hand side. Nine plus a negative nine is zero. N plus nothing is N. And zero plus negative nine is negative nine. So there's our solution. All right, so how about our next problem here? Now, in this uh, next problem, we have the variable on the right hand side, but that's that's fine. It, that doesn't mean uh, that we can't do this problem, okay? Uh, you can have the variable on the right-hand side or left-hand side. It's the it's equivalent. So in other words, this problem here, 40 equals x minus a minus 8, is equivalent to x minus a minus 8 equals 40. Okay, remember, if the left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side, well, I can certainly flip this around, and it's still the same thing. The right-hand side will equal the left-hand side. Okay. Now, of course, this is the right-hand side. It's the left-hand side, but hopefully you get the, the concept here. Now, in an equation like this, the first thing you want to do is be able to recognize what this means right there. Okay. So what's a minus of a minus 8 or the opposite of a negative 8? Okay. And this might be technically not a true one-step equation, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw it in there anyways. So what's a minus a minus 8 or a negative times a negative 8? Well, that's going to be a positive 8. Okay, so I have 40 equals x plus 8. That's what this really means. Okay, now to get the x by itself, I got to deal with this positive 8 here. So the inverse operation is going to be a negative 8, right? I'm subtract 8 away. So I'm going to do it on both sides of the equation. Add down, I'm going to get 32 equals x, okay, or x equals 32, and that's our solution. All right, so like I said, hopefully you're getting more comfortable with these basic inverse operations. And practice makes perfect, so let's continue to move on here. So I have g plus 2 equals negative 10. I got a plus 2 here after my variable, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And let me stress once more that you should be writing your work exactly how I'm doing it um, in this video, okay? You see how I'm sort of lining up this negative 2 underneath the 2 and then negative 2 underneath this negative 10? There's other formats, but being that I'm teaching you, I really want you to use mine, okay? This is really, I really want to stress that. All right, so now I'm going to get G equals, okay, positive 2 plus a negative 2 is 0. Then I get negative 10 plus negative 2. And remember, be careful here. It's always addition. You're always adding down. Okay, so this would be negative 10 plus negative 2. And that, of course, is going to be negative 12. All right, next problem. Here I have h, okay, or 12 plus h equals one, negative 1 third. So what do I want to do here? i got to deal with this 12 next to this h. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. <clears throat> now, being very careful, I'm going to add down. So 12 plus negative 12 is 0. h plus nothing is h. And negative 1 third plus a negative 12 will be negative 12 and 1 third. OK. Let's take a look at our last two problems here. And they involve decimals, but the principle is still the same thing. OK. We're not changing um, anything but the number types. So we have x plus 2.9 equals 7.6. So I have 2.9 in front of my x. So I want to subtract 
2.9 from the left hand side. So I'm going to subtract 2.9 from the right hand side of the equation. Now I'm going to add down. Okay, my 2.9s go away on the left hand side of the equation. They cancel each other out. Now I'm going to get 7.6 minus 2.9. So if you haven't done this already, I want to go ahead and grab a calculator and I'll plug this into mine as we uh, do this together. So 7.6 minus 2.9 equals 4.7. All right, so our last problem here is C minus 1.3 equals 12.5. Okay, so what do I have to do to get that C by itself? What inverse operation? Well, I'm gonna add 1.3 to both sides of the equation. All right, so we're gonna get C equals to 12.5 now, some of you don't need a calculator to do this, but if you want to use your calculator, that's fine. So we're going to get 12.5 plus 1.3, and that, of course, is going to be 13.8. All right. Now, if uh, after the first few problems you're saying, yeah, I got this. This is easy. No problem. You know what? That's great. I love the confidence, but you need to still practice this. Really just go through and do all these practice problems because practice makes perfect, and this is something that, Solving these one-step equations, this is key. If you know how to solve these one-step equations really, really well, then all the other things that we're going to be talking about in solving equations are going to, be, are going to become much easier. Now, the last thing I'll leave you with is this. If you're weak on those positive and negative numbers or fractions, go back and review those, okay? Because that's going to be coming up over and over again. All right, so keep working hard, and we'll see you soon.